Hey there, everybody. I'm just making a quick video about um, how to use both PowerPoint or Google Slides presentations and a document camera in the same class session and how to um, switch between them or show both at the same time. Um, we've had people ask about this because this is um, obviously something that a lot of people would do in an in-person class. And um, there's a couple different ways you can accomplish it in a remote class. Um, I'll show one way um, to start that is, uh, I think, pretty simple, and you can flip back and forth um, between the two um, uh, things, the, but your presentation or the document camera. And I'll show another way where you can do both at the same time. It requires a little bit more setup and um, uh, a little bit of playing with resizing windows and things like that. but. Um, you can try both and see what works well for you. Um, okay, so if I'm in a Zoom call and I'm also presenting the students in the classroom um, and I want to show my PowerPoint, so I'm going to uh, share my screen here and double click the screen option. Then I can open up my PowerPoint file and go into the slideshow view and there we go. So I'm, I'm showing my PowerPoint presentation. Um, when I want, need to do some um, board work or whiteboarding work, uh, but on the document camera, um, I can just hit that new share button. It's the same green button as before. Um, but if I click on advanced, then content from second camera, then share, now it'll flip over to the document camera. So I can be... Uh, drawing things and annotating things. Um, it's a document camera so you can easily flip between multiple pieces of paper, flip back and forth, that kind of stuff. And then I might need to go back to the PowerPoint. I j all I have to do is click back on the new share button, basic screen, and I'm back over to PowerPoint. So that's one way to do it. Um, another way, let me get out of the PowerPoint here. Um, is another way is to have them both on the same screen at the same exact time. And this can work pretty well, um, but it is a little bit complicated um, in terms of you have to position the windows side by side. There's a couple settings you might have to play with in PowerPoint and um, Google Slides. Um, but I'm going to show how that can work now too. So the first thing you're going to need to do this is uh, the IPVO Visualizer app. We're going to have a link on uh, in the description of this video, um, so it's below the video or um, on the web page that you're looking at this on, and that's where you can download the app. If you need help installing the app, you can always reach out to the service desk and they can help you out. But um, basically, the IPVO Visualizer app, if I open it up here, and I'll share my screen in Zoom. The IPVO app lets you simply just look at the document camera. So I've put that up. I'm actually going to resize it so that it's roughly one half of my screen. And then um, I can open up my PowerPoint. And um, there's one setting we'll have to go in and change because we don't want it to be full screen. Because if we do make it full screen, whoops. Uh, then you won't be able to see the camera anymore. So I'm going to get back out of that. So the setting we need to go to changes, and this is the same on Windows and Mac, is go to Slideshow, then Setup Slideshow. Then you're going to want to change under Show Type, you're going to want to change this to Browsed by an Individual. Um, this will make it so that when you, uh, and then I'll hit OK, this will make it so that when you click the Slideshow button, it will not take over your full screen. So then I just need to take this window and again make it roughly half my screen and now you can do both things at the exact same time. Um, just keep in mind here that especially with the document camera you're gonna probably need to at this point draw larger um, if you're depending on how detailed your your work is on the document camera. You can also change the size of these two things. So you could take the IPVO app here and simply just drag it to be larger um, when is necessary for you and make your PowerPoint slides smaller. So you can kind of uh, 
uh, play with that as is appropriate for your content. Um, if you're going to do the same thing with Google Slides, it's uh, a couple less steps in PowerPoint, but basically I'm going to open up a Google Slides presentation here. Um, and over here, if I go into present, same problem as PowerPoint. It's going to take up the full screen. Here, if you click in the bottom, there's this little, I don't know what to call this button, but it's the button that will exit full screen. If you click that, um, then you can see both your uh, Pivo app and the uh, Google Slides presentation at the same time. So that's two different solutions to that problem of I need to be using a PowerPoint and doing whiteboarding in the same presentation. I think a lot of people are going to run into that. If you have any questions, definitely reach out to uh, the service desk or our academic technology team, and we can meet with you and figure out what, uh, what your needs are and how to help you.